um, I'll be speaking on Jesus, the Word. Jesus, the Word. Now, Jesus is not only the Son of God, He is the Word of God. Anytime God speaks, Jesus is revealed. Anytime God speaks, Jesus emerges. If Jesus is the Word of God and Jesus is alive, then it means that everything you say also has life in them. The word you speak is what it takes, you know, you know, the word you speak has what it takes to become flesh. It can become a personality that will live with you forever. The Bible says, and the word became flesh and dwells among us. God declared that all men should be saved from the dominion of sin and death. That declaration of God was what formed Jesus that came to die for us. Watch what you say. They can become personalities that will journey along with you as you walk through life. At what point did Jesus enter into the womb of his mother who was a virgin? The moment the angel declared to her, according to the word of the Lord, Jesus entered into a womb. The point of that angelic declaration was what became the point of conception for Mary. Anything you declare, you conceive. And what you conceive, you give birth to. Anything you don't want to see around your life, don't say it with your mouth. Otherwise, you will conceive it. The word of God became Jesus. And this Jesus is known to be very powerful. So also your words are powerful. They can determine the outcomes of your life. Jesus is the word of God in flesh. So also your current friends can be your own word in flesh. Your current situation can be the product of your confessions. You can create your own world. How you create your world is through your word. God wanted a world or an environment where his will can be done. And he did that through Jesus. That was why during the baptism of Jesus, the dove that descended on him confirmed that Jesus is God's beloved in whom he is well pleased. This shows that Jesus was that conducive environment where God created for himself on earth. So Jesus is that conducive environment where God could live as at that time. The moment Jesus came to earth, God had a house on earth. The moment Jesus came to earth, God had a house on earth. He could not live in their temple because it was corrupt. So he decided to live in Jesus. And from that position, he could supervise his agenda on earth. Anything God speaks, anything God speaks showcases Jesus. Anytime God speaks, Jesus is revealed and glorified. If you ask God to send his word to you, you are indirectly asking him to send Jesus to you. That is why the message God has for you is his son. Jesus is the message of God for this generation. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. The message of God for this generation is Jesus. So stop asking, Lord, what do you have for this generation? What do you have for us? No. The message of God for every generation is Jesus. Come. You cannot give us anything. You know, God cannot give us, sorry, God cannot give us anything more 
or lesser than Jesus because Jesus is the standard of God. So God cannot give you anything more or anything lesser than Jesus because Jesus is the standard of God. This is the mystery of the gospel that we preach. The gospel is not a document. It is a person. It is not a non-living thing, but a living thing. Preaching the gospel is the same as preaching a person. Meet him before you preach him. It is dangerous to preach or try to tell others about someone you have not met because any question about him can turn you into confusion. Jesus is the word of God, the sword of God, the standard of God, the commandments of God, and he is the greatest gift any man can ever receive from God. So if you have received Jesus, it means you have, re you have received God's great gift. Can you see that? If you have received Jesus, it means you have received God's great gift. To be ashamed of sharing the gospel is to be ashamed of identifying yourself with Jesus. If you have his word, then you have his son. The Bible says, your word is the lamp to my feet. Meaning that your son is the director, you know, meaning that your son is the director of my path and the instructor of my life. So when you hear your word is the lamp to my feet, what does it mean? Your word means your son. Your son is Jesus. So when you hear your word is the lamp to my feet, meaning Jesus is the director of my path and the instructor of my life. To be addicted to the word of God is to be acquainted with the person of Jesus. To be addicted to the word of God is to be acquainted with the person of Jesus. If you know his word, then you know his son. Any gospel that fails to bring Jesus to the screen is false. If, you know, okay, please take note of this again. Any gospel that fails to bring Jesus to the screen is false. You are to decrease for God's word to gain prominence. The gospel is all about Jesus. It started with him and it will end with him. When the Bible says that at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow, it is not talking about your own word. It is simply saying that at the word of God, every name shall bow. If you speak your own word, nothing will happen until you speak his own word. It, now, if it is at the word of God, then, you know, if it is at the word of God that every knee will bow, then it means that we will need to have his word to exercise dominion over the creatures. Now, since every knee will bow at the word of God, that would mean that for you to exercise dominion, you will need to equip yourself with God's word in abundance. You need to have God's word enough in your spirit. Because it is at his word that every knee will bow. The creation's response to his word. So that means if you equip yourself with his word, creation's will respond to you. If you equip yourself with his word, when you speak, things will happen because you are not speaking of yourself but you are speaking his word to have his word is to have dominion since that is the only uh, identity that everything responds to so if you have his word then you have dominion because everything responds to his word it is not the volume that creates an effect it is identity it is not volume that creates i you know it is not volume that creates effect it is identity there is an identity that your word must carry for it to make a significant change 
man's word are ordinary and empty what gives it content and substance is the appearance of god's word in it man's word are ordinary and empty what makes it potent and powerful is the introduction of god's word to it anytime you refuse to mix the word of god with your word then get ready to be frustrated because nothing will move except you speak god's word to it you can be shouting in jesus name and still be in the flesh for that statement to be potent you must have the revelation of the person it is only when you speak by revelation that you have manifestation the reason the name of jesus is not working for a lot of people today is because they are not speaking by revelation you need to have the revelation of the person of jesus for the name of jesus to work for you if you don't have the revelation of the person of jesus then the name of jesus may not be powerful in your mind things will not just change because you call the name of jesus but it will change because you have a revelation of the person with the name I hope you get it this is the wisdom of god don't sell it